Great. Okay. Commander Ferguson is now crawling his way into the hatch and uh, we helped into his, his seat on the flight deck. What are some of the things that uh, he's going to do as, I mean, obviously, I, I, we've called him the commander. Right. He's in charge. <laughs> so, obviously, he's in command of um, the mission itself, um, keeping, he's in charge of the systems on board the shuttle, flying the shuttle. He'll do the docking as a, a, um, on flight day three with the International Space Station. And before he does the docking, he'll do the um, RPM, the pitch maneuver that we use now to inspect the shuttle. That's that the rendezvous pitch maneuver you mentioned at the backflip. Right. It's, right. Uh, we've grown accustomed to seeing, but had never done before in 2005. It allows the station crew members to take two digital cameras, the 400 millimeter and 800 millimeter shots of the uh, underbelly and the, the heat shield. And, yes. it, and see resolution between the two cameras between three and one inches. And that gets put down to the ground as part of our overall inspection techniques. And then, of course, um, after the 15-day mission, then he'll be landing here over at the shuttle landing facility. There we can see Sandra Magnus, as she's waving, getting the famous Snoopy cap on. <laughs> so we actually have a timeline. It's called post-insertion, and that's a lot of that time besides getting the systems either shut down if they were used on ascent or um, ready if they're going to be used on orbit then they'll be taking off the ACE suit. So you can see Heidi's coming in here now and they'll be getting Eric ready to go on to the hatch in a few moments. Now we move back to the flight deck and pilot Eric Bow getting put into position. Adjusting the straps there and actually the, the level of comfort is not that that's what the it's yes they have to make sure they're secure, but it's also like you yeah. said, you're you're in that position for a couple of hours. Right, so it's more important that they uh, get comfortable for a sitting position. <laughs> I guess you should really call it lying back position um, versus the standing position. Yeah, at this time I'd like to go ahead and work my contingency in steps uh, 209 to 10 to open lead with vent doors. We're getting occasional hits at 19.9% on the white room uh, O2 monitor. OTC MS5, MS5, this is OTC. I have you loud and clear. Welcome aboard, Sandy. Uh, thank you, Mark. It's good to be aboard. And TVD, you have a go to work your contingency. Copy, thank you. Afternoon, Dex. CDR, CC. CDR, go. Verify your crew is ready for astrocom checks. OTC, the crew is ready for astrocom checks. Okay, copy that. And all personnel on air to ground one channel should remain silent except for emergency calls. Endeavor will start comm checks with air to ground one. So Endeavor, OTC, comm check, air to ground one. Endeavor, Houston, for the CDR and PLT, comm check on air to ground one. CDR, loud and clear. PLT, loud and clear. We read you loud and clear also. Configure for air to ground two. Welcome. If you're looking at this and you were uninitiated, you'd think there's smoke coming off the, uh, the shuttle there, and it's, it's really now at the bottom, of the, near the top. What are we looking at? That is gaseous hydrogen that's venting off. The tank is maintained at 100%, and coming through the bottom, it's keeping the lines cool because it's minus 400 degrees. Pressure's not building up. 
It's breathing. <laughs> I've actually heard it described that way by some of the ice team members. And uh, it has a, a feel to it, a, a living and breathing feel to it as it oh, yeah. shifts in the humidity and contracts and expands. And this view, again, did, did not concern anybody. You, we are looking at, at flames, but it's on purpose. <laughs> yes. That's coming from the flare stack. Excess hydrogen is taken and some of it is vented to the atmosphere like you have seen and then some of it is sent out to the flare stack where it's burned. It's harmless there. What we have learned in the past is if it goes straight up, they have no wind. They don't plan on a no wind situation. So we're looking for a little bit of direction just like it's showing. There's just enough wind where everything's going to work out great. Uh, everybody's smiling. Absolutely. The number two closeout crew member is the astronaut. And at this time, once the hatch is closed, they usually didn't have a job. So they would be wandering around. We had a few issues where we would have to go find them. Someone came up with the idea, if we take the astronaut and give him the hose and tell him to keep the area free from the nitrogen that's blowing around, there isn't much place he can go because it's just a short hose. So it keeps him busy and it keeps him sequestered. I guess Works it, out kind of well. Th thus proving that our, our astronauts, in this case Jose Hernandez, are willing to do anything and everything to help the team out. Absolutely. I imagine it does get kind of stuffy and it, even obviously not as bad as inside the Endeavor itself and when you're in the small space of the shuttle, but even in the closer room it's got to be, you've got six people packed inside there. Yes, and there's a nitrogen purge between the inside skin and the outside skin of the orbiter. And we want to keep the, as they're closing the hatch and butting it, buttoning it up with the carrier panels, we want to make sure that they have air instead of nitrogen. Now they seem to be centered around a checklist and facing the wall closest to our field of view on the left-hand side of the screen. What's on, are there gauges or something on that side? That the wall to the left has the panel that is controlling the air pressure. Ah. TLS, go. Yes, sir, I can give you steps 854 through 859. TLS mainline activation is complete. Thank you. Bottom side of both the uh, Endeavor and external fuel tank and the solid rocket boosters. The, uh, again, reassure me, Mike, that that's, uh, that's what's supposed to happen, right? That is what is supposed to happen. Copy that. Thank you. See that's 864, ACL 864. ACL, copy. 1046, you can perform your BFS pre-flight uplink loading. I copy. We'll put the BFS pre-flight uplinks in work. And CDR, too, sir.